Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. At least that's what it stands for to me. Understand that for me, it's really simple. Emotion is the enemy for an investor. And I understand that. Logic and research, those are the allies of an investor. And that's the way I see it. So I understand things like market sentiment for NEO and NEO stock being really poor, really bad, really negative. Those kind of go hand in hand with the emotional aspect. And for me to recognize that, that's me having awareness and becoming aware of things is important because then I can have a better sense or get some understanding, which is actually the second step. And then from there, I can take action if any action is to be taken. In this case, for me, there's no action to be taken because I'm not fearful. I don't have that concern. I'm not emotionally frustrated with the situation. And a part of that is because I have given this years. I expect it to take quite a bit more time for the company and then the stock to go where I want them to go. But if I didn't have that clarity with the awareness, the understanding, and whatever action I do or don't want to take, that would make it easier for me to be fearful, frustrated, get caught up in the emotional aspect of, let's say, not knowing what delivery numbers are going to be, thinking or wondering or feeling, again, emotion, feeling like maybe Neo isn't ramping like they should be. Maybe they're having some demand issues. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe X, Y, Z. You, you fill in the blank. You know, there are a lot of reasons that one can become fearful. But fear, if it's really just false evidence appearing real, then, well, what is it other than a feeling, an emotion? And is there any actual underlying logic? And that's where I focus on and prefer to look at the research side of things and then go deeper, further with respect to that than maybe what others are willing to do. But the reason being is I want to have and apply as much logic and research as I can so that I don't have to worry about the, the frustrations or the aspects of emotion that sometimes can creep up and into a situation. Look, it, the sentiment is bad. It's been bad for a little while. And when I see long-term neo investors, very frustrated, that is simply a validation that sentiment is low. It is bad. And that means it's logical to presume that people are going to be frustrated or get more frustrated more quickly. And that's just what it is. So again, now I can say, all right, I have this awareness of the situation. I understand part of why it's happening. Is there any action for me to take or not? I'm going to wrap it up. Keep this thing simple. It's a motivational Monday. And I wanted to tie in a little bit of Neo with this idea of kind of setting the tone for the week. And again, you know, while people are feeling a certain way and maybe being emotional, I'm over here sitting back going, all right, what data points can I can I put together? And, and I've even, it's sort of being reflected in some of the videos that I'm doing now because, for example, on Tuesdays, we typically get the insurance registration data and I'll talk about that. And then we'll look at back, you know, look at maybe what we've seen in the last month or months or uh, corresponding weeks. Also look at what we've got going on in the background. For example, it's Chinese New Year. Uh, and so I expect things to be a little different in the next couple of weeks. Numbers are going to be different, probably not as high as some might expect or anticipate or hope for. But again, those are things that for me, I just need to have that awareness, understanding. And then if there's action to take, take it. But in this case, it's really just a matter of process and me continuing to dig, research, nerd out, as I like to say. Uh, that's what it is. It's, it's research. It's, it's all about the logic and the research because those are the allies or the friends of an investor. I absolutely believe it versus emotion being the enemy of the investor. I truly believe it. Drop it in the comments. I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this? Thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all again real soon.